here we are, Agatha. The old Twerzel's chocolate factory. It's not been in use for nearly a year. Are you sure, Ensor? I think I can hear machinery. You're right. I can hear something. Maybe it's not as disused as we thought. What's that? It's around here. Ladies! Binweave, what are you doing here? Well, it's a long and rather dull flashback. Maybe just give us the highlight, sugar. Okay. When I left you, I went to the police commissioner's house. I did have some business there, but Mr. Peaks decided to kidnap me instead. As you can see, my legs have become a mess, rather akin to a Kit Kat that's been left out in the sun. Where's Danny? Well, Mr. Peaks and the big fella with the stupid name went into the factory about an hour ago. They left me here, as you can see, handcuffed to the steering wheel, but also handcuffed to this. The suitcase! Why, the amount of times this has happened to me. Agatha. Go back to my car, grab the hacksaw out of the boot. We'll soon cut these off. I'm afraid it's going to take you ages to cut through these handcuffs with a hacksaw. They're steel. I won't need to. I meant your arms. I hope that's your idea of a joke, Miss Nam here. Cat Noir presents Missing Series 2. Written by Kevin Chilvers and Matt Sanders. Acquisition 4. This country and many others, if time allows. I wasn't sure if you were joking about cutting my arms off. I've got a good memory, Bimweave. I haven't forgotten you and Augustus Pennington Spive crashed us onto a deserted island and left us to die. I started smoking through the stress. I'm sorry. The situation just got out of control. Out of control? Out of control? You had us at gunpoint and forced us to perform your ridiculous comedy sketches. All I ever wanted was to be liked and make people laugh. The best way to do that, honey, is to be yourself. Tell some jokes and not wave a gun in people's faces. I am sorry. I wonder what all these packages are. It's all wrapped snug in bubble wrap. It's very soothing popping this. Try it. This is all very relaxing, but I wonder what's under the packaging. Well, let's have a look. Kelvin? Alfie's robot? What's that doing here? Um, it can't be here. The damn thing blew up on the island, remember? But it is here, and it really is Kelvin the robot. I'm sorry to disappoint you all. This is not Kelvin the robot. Red mist. Where did you come from? I've been following you since you arrived. I've actually been standing here popping this stuff with you for a few minutes. You said this isn't Kelvin. What did you mean? None of these robots are. But if every package is a robot, there's at least a hundred in here. Excellent mental mathematics. There are 98 units here, all waiting for their instructions. To be robot butlers? <laughs> no. Why do you have a whole warehouse full of Kelvins? They are prototype soldiers. This isn't a warehouse. It's an army barracks. This is Augustus Pennington Smythe's personal army. Correct. One gold star. The prototypes will march on Downing Street and remove the current government. They will then be placed inside this suitcase. It would look like they've just disappeared. The power vacuum will, of course, need filling, and who better to run the country than a faceless megalomaniac? Parliament will never even notice. We need to go right now. No one is going anywhere. Except for Insert. Well, yes, except for her. Who's there? Alfie? Insert. I'm glad to see you. Are we alone? Yeah. I haven't seen anyone for a couple of hours. Is Agatha with you? She was, but we ran into an old friend. Well, actually, two. I'm afraid I'm all that's left of the rescue party. Well, at least you're here. We found a whole warehouse full of Kelvins. They're not Kelvins. They're police prototypes. I made one, and then there were two, and now there's loads. This is the original. I've put a one on its shoulder, so I know which one it is. Are you being held here against your will? I was duped. I thought they were going to let me fix the prototypes. Turns out they just wanted them under more control. So I tried to leave, but the prototypes wouldn't let me. Now I'm working on a remote control for... (sighs) Augustus Pennington Smythe. Yes, we found out he's involved. I've been trying to find him. Red Mist told me these robots are an army ready to march on Parliament and take over the country. Yeah, it's mental, isn't it? He hasn't got the suitcase, though. I should never have brought it back from the island. Someone stole it from my flat. Yeah, Binweave did. Binweave? I thought he was blown up. Well, some of him. 
He's here with the suitcase. Oh, no. That, that's not good news. We can't let anyone get hold of it. Bin Weave or APS. We need to get out of here and get that suitcase as far away as possible. They're outside the door. I don't think they're going to let us leave, Alfie. Well, I think that went well. I hope you're joking. We lost insert, and now Red Mist has locked us in here. No, no. Look at the positives, Miss Kensington. Miss Nam here is free to get us out of here at some point, and... Red Mist didn't get his hands on the suitcase. So, where is it? I'm sitting on top of it. Wait a minute, strike that match again. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. Oh no, that was my last one. There's something on the floor in the corner. Don't worry, honey. I'll go over and feel my way around. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my, my. Oh, 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 What is it? It's Danny Pig, some passport control. Very impressive. How did you work that out from feeling their faces? I didn't say it was their faces I was feeling. Agatha, is that you? I still can't see. Passport, darling. What happened? Well, I got blinded by lasers in episode two. Do you want a flashback? Not just now. I meant, why are you locked in this room? Oh, well, I guess the scene will probably cut to something much more interesting while I recap you. Well, try to make it as quick and concise as you can. Warren missing, Alfie in trouble, Danny zapped. Beamweave, not to be trusted. That's concise. Now, it's a shame we didn't cut to another scene, as I'm afraid everyone's now going to have to see my next move. Goodbye, dear friends. Oh, no. Not the suit. Uh, what's happening? I'm actually really sorry. That's never easy. And I did enjoy your movies, Miss Kensington. Well, some of them. Ah! You shouldn't have done that, Beamweave. Mr. Peaks, get off me. I thought you were unconscious. Seems you were just playing hooky. It's pronounced hockey. In you go, Ben Weave. No! Put the suitcase down. No way, Bush. You can join the others. Put them up. I don't do hand to hand combat. Well, that's all right. This is a different type of combat. Fist to face. No, not my face. I can't keep my face. That's better. Good to get all those loose ends in one place. Right. Time to resolve this whole sorry mess with the big man himself. Augustus Pennington Smythe. I'm coming for you. Where are we? Wow, this place is amazing. I can't see anything. It's just a huge purple light. Tell me, Agatha, what does it look like? Reading the script description, it says we've appeared on a glitter brick road with lush golden fields either side. It's sunny and dry, the air is calm, and there is melodic bird song. It's an overlit CGI world of bright colours like a real-life Disney Pixar movie. Everything is swirling technicolor, and beautiful, major key music flows like a river of smiles. Sounds like Wales. Wales? More like Oz. I've never been to Australia. Oz? As in the fictional place from the movie The Wizard of Oz? Oh, my favourite Harry Potter book. Good grief. And why are you here, Ben Weave? I thought you were trying to get rid of us. No, no, no. I just thought we'd all be safer inside the suitcase. Hmm. I'm not sure I believe you, honey. Wait. If we're inside the bag and we're okay, my parents might be here too. Crampton Arbuckle, the original owner of the suitcase, sucked them inside when I was a little kid. There's probably quite a few people in here that won't want to see me. Well, that's your problem, Ben Weave. Let's have a look around. Well, you can have a look. And you tell me what's going on. I'm going to need some help here. I'm not going to get very far without my... Oh! My wheelchair. <laughs> Well, which way do we go? Well, I hate to be the one to say it, but, uh, let's follow the yellow brick road. This path is golden, honey. You need your eyes tested. Uh, less jokes about visual impairment, please. Sorry, man. getting on, Alfie. There. The remote control is finished. We just need to plug it in. They've cut the power. That is not good. And that's worse. We need to leave immediately. Okay. Get ready to run when I say. Prototype one, make an arrest. Run quietly or there will be trouble. Take that. Run! Oh, not the basic. It's out. Take that. Ow, on his lap. Oof. Oof, it's not in our vocabulary. Drop kick. Ow, my robot nuts. The office of Augustus Pennington Smythe. Right, let's see what you've got to say for yourself. 
Hello? Anyone here? Where's the light switch? Oh, got it. There you are, Pennington Smythe. Turn and face me, you coward. Oi, why are you facing the wall? Talk to me. Why do you keep putting me and my friends in danger? Turn round. Oi, I'm talking to you. Answer me, damn you. What the hell is this? A dummy with a smiley face drawn on it? Oh, it was insane. Uh, I enjoy our games. See you soon. Love APS. Oh, you complete butt. Danny! And you've got Augustus Pennington Smythe! I'm afraid not. He's outsmarted us again. It's a dummy. I'm beginning to wonder if this guy even exists. All my hard work for nothing. I've been chasing a dummy all this time! Ah! No, no, leave it out, insert. What's that dummy ever done to you? Okay, I think this dummy's had enough. I'm, no, I'm sorry to interrupt you both, but we do have more pressing concerns. I'm afraid all the prototypes are following us. Cripes, one's got in. No, this is the original prototype. Part of Pennington Smythe's army, but essentially on our side. We need to get your remote control working as soon as possible, Alfie. The rest must be close behind this one. I need a power source. Nothing's working here. The other prototypes cut the electric. A power source? A power source? Hang on. What about the suitcase? Oh, I didn't think I'd see this again. If there's power in there, we can use it to get the remote control to work. That means going inside. It'll be a reunion. I'll put a few people you might know in there earlier. Okay, if it's our only option. Sounds like it is. I'm ready. Open it, Danny. Right then. Brace yourselves. Whoa! Psychedelic! Like Whoa! Oh no, all the prototypes are following us. Whoa! <laughs> This brick road's playing havoc with my bladder. Oh, sugar, we stopped twice already. I'm trying to get us to the city we saw in the distance. Oh, I think I can see better now. That big yellow light looks like a field. It is, honey. And look, there's a scarecrow. Hello, it's me, your old pal Warren. Who said that? Scarecrows don't talk. It's Warren. What are you doing here? Do you want to see my flashback? Not really. Oh, I dropped it. Whoops! That was the wrong one! What is it with the flashbacks in this season? I got back to Danny's lockup and it felt like Christmas. Here was this lovely present just begging to be opened. I couldn't help myself. I just got too excited. I had to look inside the suitcase. Then I got sucked off. I think you mean sucked inside. Yes! Glad we sorted that out. Look over there. Why, it's a man. A man made out of tin. Look! He's upside down. Passport, I'm up here. Alfie! In a tree. Oh, oh, oh. My leg. Agatha! Oh, Alfie, we came to save you, but we got a little lost. I know. Give us a hug. Why were you up the tree, Alfie? I don't know how I got up there. I just arrived. Give us a hug, mate. I'm so pleased to see you both. And I like hugs too. Well, this is one of my prototypes. I'm afraid I've got some rather bad news. There could possibly be a horde of these in here with us, and they're not so friendly. We probably need to get moving as quickly as possible. Danny and Insa are around here somewhere. We saw a city in the distance. We're heading out that way. The others will be able to find us easier there. Looks like the uh, whole band's getting back together then. Bingwe, you were never part of the band. Am I part of the band? I like playing music too. Here you go, Alfie. I've got your robot out. How do you know it's the original one? I wrote a one on its shoulder. Oh, I can't see it. Must have rubbed off. Get back! It's one of the others. Too late. It's got me by the throat. I must uphold the innocent. It is my prime directive. Where are we? I think we're inside the suitcase. I wasn't expecting it to look like this, though. I thought it might be a bit more... I don't know. Empty? Uh, leathery. I can't see Alfie. Oh, we'll be okay. It does look like we're right outside the gates to a city. Right then. Time to wash a sock. What? Rewind a clock. I'm not getting it. Shoot a Glock. Nope. Good grief. He's caught me rhyming slang. We'll have a knock. Have a knock? We, uh, we don't hang out much, do we? Oh, right, got you. Hello there. Yeah, hello. It's me, Danny Peaks. What can I do for you, young man? Um, what are the options? Agatha, get the others to the city ASAP. Look, take this. It's the remote control for the robots. I'll free passport and we'll follow you. Okay, honey. Pick up the pace, team. Let's run. You are joking. Go! Go! Everyone, go! 
At least let it go. I've never broken the law in my life. Well, that's not strictly true. I did once urinate on the Pope, but that wasn't even in this country. I can do a flashback if it helps. No one wants to see that, Passport. Fair enough. Can you stop this robot from killing me now, please? Uh, deactivate. I can't, Alfie. I'm not a robot. I wasn't talking to you. Deactivate. I must continue my prime directive. Crush all who wish to control us. I don't want to control anyone. Just check they've got the correct travel documents. I never wanted to work at a supermarket. Don't let me die as a retail operative, please. Save me, Alfie. Here come more of us. That's right, more of us. Here we all are. Oh no, things are getting worse. Ended. The prototypes have all arrived. We've got 99 problems. But you forgot prototype one. Release the worthless shop worker and prepare to fight. <laughs> Worthless was a bit strong. Stay out of trouble. I will, mate, I will. Come on, let's catch up with the others. Defenders Prototype 1. I obey. Defensive mode active. Ooh, he has a defensive mode. Why don't I have a defensive mode? You have a defensive mode. You just need to believe in yourself. I believe. Who's going to knock? Shall we do rock, paper, scissors for it? We don't have that in the heaven world. Well, what do you use? Rock! Rock and rock. This will be interesting. Why don't I just knock for all of us? How do we know who's one, honey? Rock beats rock. Best of three. Hello there. Agatha? Daddy. My little girl. I've come to save you. This is all very touching, but can we come in? We do have some murderous robots after us. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Oh, I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get here. Oh, Daddy, I'm so happy to see you. Hello, it's me, your old pal Warren. I like hugs too. What are you, some kind of buster? Don't be so rude. I'm a heron. Where's Mummy? We've been here waiting a long time, sweetie. Should have been pleased as punch to see you. Nine, 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 nine. I'm sorry, Passport, honey. I don't speak German. I mean, there's 99 robots after us. Get inside the city, let's close the gates. Agatha, where's the machine I gave you? Um, being weird has it. Oh, great, just what we needed. Yeah, evening all. Good to see you again. Let's get these gates shut, shall we? Hi, gang. Everyone, push. <laughs> <laughs> just squeezed in. These gates will not close. No one is going anywhere. This is your alibi. Oh, great! I love chocolate bars! Your last stand! Didn't David Bowie play at the Alamo? That was John Bowie, you heathen! Oh, his dad! Oh, no! When? How stupid are you people? Augustus Penton Smythe said you were disposable, but I have been truly shocked at your ninity. A crybaby millionaire? I didn't mean any offence. Squeaky voiced reporter. My voice isn't squeaky. Is it? Um, a Poundland gangster. Oi, who are you calling a gangster? A dull, unemployed super stickler. I'd punch you if it wasn't against the rules of my job, which I may or may not have lost. A talking mink. I'm a heron! And you, Agatha Kensington, the worst of the bunch. A nicotine-drenched hack actress. That's it. I came here to save everyone. No one gets left behind, no matter who they are. These people are my friends. No, my family. I cannot think of anyone else I would lay my life on the line for. You, Red Mist, are just a bully. And I... I am smoke. Lovely little speech there, Agatha. You did say no one gets left behind. No one on our side, honey. That's what I thought you meant. Those robots ripped him in too! Poor old Orange Fog. It was called Red Mist, which is ironic, really. Well, that's nominative determination in action. Hello, Warren. I see you made it. I've been a scarecrow, Danny. Lovely. What are you doing now? Us herons often wind our necks around our family to keep them safe. Yeah, wind your neck in, ostrich. I'm a heron! Yeah, I know you are. This is what's called banter between friends. Oh, wow! Friends? Thanks, Danny. No problem. Where's Binweave? I saw him wheeling over to that house over there. I have a feeling we're going to need to stop him. We're all in terrible danger. I've done it! I've done it! I bet you have. Uh, uh, you couldn't help yourself, could you? I plugged the box in. Here's the controller. What? Look, I need to make amends somehow. I'm not a bad person. Sure, I found some. 
really reproachable deeds, but... Tell that to the care home residents you put in here. No one feels worse about that than me. Well, maybe you could do something about it. I think you're going to find Mick, one of the carers you put in here, with a group of residents in that house there. Oh, okay, okay. I will. You'll see, you'll see. Maybe cheaters really can spot their stripes. Uh, I think they want to come in, Alfie. Anyone got any ideas? Yeah, let them in. You are joking. I don't think that's a good idea. What's the plan here? The plan, Danny, is to take back control. Something I should have done a long time ago. Well, you're the boss. No, he's not. I'm the boss. The door stays shut. You tell him, insert. Tell him how you lost the suitcase twice and left me and Ben Weave to die. Okay, okay. So I'm not perfect? No one is. Well... Look, open the gates. Trust me. I've got this. Oh, Are you going to do something then or what? There's just too many of them, Alfie. Two of the robots have got worried. I suggest if you're going to do something, Sugar, then you get on it's with it. It's not working. And a hell of a lot quicker. The, the power leak is unplugged. Get off him, you and, and now we're surrounded. Oh, I can't get to it. I'm a little busy fighting this robot. That's a uh, pulse bar, sweetie. Oh, I thought it had a funny shape, now. We can stop punching it now, pulse bar. Agatha! Agatha, help me! Daddy, I'm coming. Look, get out of the way, you big hulking brute. Sorry. Not you, Passport. This damn robot. Wait, this one has riding on his shoulder. Prototype 1, you need to save us. Connect the power. I obey. Why is it running in slow motion? Why, sweetie, I think it knows it's going to save us all. Stop him. Ow, ow, ow. That didn't end well. I was wrong. He didn't make it. If only he'd run faster. Sleep well, Prototype 1. Now we're done for. I'm here, everyone. Sanitation Spinweave will save the day. I have the cable. Really? Great. It's mine. That will be no problem for me. My chocolate legs will hurt me. <laughs> there you go. He did it. So caramel. Robots. Halt. I have made an error. We have made an error. Move left leg only. We've done it. They only respond to me. I think it's over. You need to have more faith in yourself, Alfie. Absolutely, Agatha. Oh, Daddy. My girl, we knew you'd come one day. Your ma would have been so proud. You know, watching Ben Weave getting electrocuted was very amusing. I certainly had a chuckle. All he ever wanted to be was funny. Well, that rounded his character out. He turned out to be a hero after all. Job well done. Boxes ticked. Blah, blah, blah. I... I'm still alive, you know. We were just saying how hilarious it was when you got electrocuted. Really? I am shocked. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Comedy genius. Brilliant work, Alfie. Who'd have thought all we had to do is get the prototypes to stand on each other's shoulders and then climb up them into the clouds to get home? Now, are you sure you want to stay here, Daddy? Absolutely, Agatha. I'm the mayor. This city wouldn't be the same without me. Now we know we can leave at any time. It makes the decision to stay ours. Very well. Is everyone ready to go? I'm afraid I won't be coming with you. I've decided to stay here and make amends by helping the carers to look after the care home residents. I'll be doing baking on a Tuesday and knitting on a Thursday. <laughs> He's just so funny. What? He's being silly again. Ben we will actually be running our comedy nights here at Suitcase World. That's not the ending I thought his character would get. Well, sometimes people are just lucky, I guess. Goodbye, all. Good luck for getting home, Miss Nam here and Mr. Peaks. I'll see you escaping justice, Ben Weave. Just do my bit for the community. Humor's so important for the soul. And what if you have no soul? I really have changed. I'm sorry for everything. I hope you do get Augustus coming to Smythe one day. So do I. Come on, insert. Time to climb a pile of robots and get home. I'm sorry to let you all down, but I'm not going to be coming with you. What? Uh -huh. Someone needs to stay here and check people coming in and out of the suitcase. Make sure they have the right documents. Oi, what are you doing? I'm just frisking you for liquids. I'm 60% liquid. Oh dear. Don't start mucking me apart. I'm only joking. Body liquid's fine as long as it's kept inside the body. Mr. Kensington told me I could be a conduit to the real world. I've never been a conduit before, and I do love tomato sauce, so I've decided to take the job. Well, I'm going to miss you, buddy. You do have Warren. I'll really miss you. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm not coming back either. Alfie! I'm a wanted man, Agatha. I've nothing left to go home for. The Commissioner made sure of that. 
I'll keep the prototypes with me. I'll reconfigure them to work on the land, grow some crops, make this world self-sustainable, and we might even be able to build a power network. And someone needs to find Augustus Pennington Smythe and make him pay for what he's done to us. I'll keep following the leads, Alfie. We'll get him one day. There's that fire. If anyone can find him, it'll be you, insert. Thanks, Danny. Right, where's Warren got to? Oi, what you doing over there? Oh, I'm just emptying this pond with Koi Tom. Oi, Oi, get out of here, you look. Goodbye, Daddy. Take care of yourself and all the people here. I'm sure you'll be the best mayor ever. Thanks, sweetheart. Look after yourself and your friends. You are now all clear to climb the robot pile. You're not fine here. It's my shoulder. Oh, don't tread on me. That's my head. That's his head. That was his head. That was my head. Sorry. Insert. Yes? When we get out, what are we going to do with the suitcase? We have to protect the people in here. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe. I'll put it up in my loft. Agatha, hang on. I have a favour to ask you. Anything for you, sugar? I brought a cat after we escaped the island together. He's sitting at home waiting for me to come back. Would you look after him for me? Of course I will. Here's the keys to my flat. He's called Kelvin. I'll miss you, Alfie. Whee! Freedom. Home sweet home. What? Uh-oh. Wait, we're on no. a beach. How did the suitcase get here? And I didn't even pack any sun cream. This place looks mighty familiar. I Has can't believe it. Has anyone got a spare bikini? We're back on the island. No! Oh, no. No. No! Oh, for crying out loud. Anyone got any cigarettes? You've been listening to Cat Noir Presents Missing Series 2. Written, produced, recorded and edited by Kevin Jovis and Matt Saunders. Follow us on Instagram at Cat Noir Podcast and leave a review if you like what we do.